Welcome to episode 21. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode on the Fall in Love with Your Business Again podcast. Your host today is Giovanna, that's me. <laughs> I'm the founder of BumperLeads.com. At BumperLeads, we build marketing growth systems for businesses so they can attract the right leads to their business and to also help them drive sales and business success. Now, we often meet clients who seem to have lost control of their business or they simply have lost maybe their mojo. Uh, And based on the recent study I came across by a university here in Sydney, Australia, there are about 20% of businesses that fail in their first year of business, and about 60% will go out of business in their first three years. Wow. These are some scary statistics. Um, Now, no wonder why many (laughs) businesses that we meet uh, don't really feel excited about growing their businesses. They often feel stressed out or overworked, overwhelmed, so many things to do in the business, so many things, but not so much time to to work on the business. And, you know, that's why I'm inspired to do this podcast, uh, because we are on a mission to shift those statistics to a more uh, positive outcome. So this podcast is dedicated to business owners who want to fall in love with their business again. I know Uh, We can't always be in the state of excitement. Uh, I've been there, done that. We're all human. Uh, But if we are surrounded by the things that inspire us, then we can become more disciplined, disciplined to persevere in the face of obstacles. Um, And we will always have something happen in the business that throw us off. We just need to have some tools or techniques that we can rely upon to help us Uh, face those obstacles and go in the right direction. So in today's episode, I'll be talking about things that inspire us here at Bumper Leads, uh, and I'll be sharing some of my favorite quotes uh, throughout the episode. Um, And there's just a couple of people that I'll be mentioning, which is uh, Ryan Holiday, who wrote the book, The Obstacle is the Way, and my recent mentor uh, called Pauline Nguyen, who wrote a award-winning book here in Australia called The Way of the Spiritual Entrepreneur. And I was inspired to do this uh, is because of we are in February 2021, and we've just gone through a very difficult year in 2020. Uh, and I just thought it's really necessary for us to recharge. And personally, from not just a business perspective, but in a personal sense, and I was looking for ways to get inspired about that. So I started to look into this philosophy of stoicism. Um, now, you, if you're following T- Tim Ferriss or James Altucher, these guys always talk about uh, Stoics, and they've also interviewed uh, the writer who writes about Stoicism uh, called Ryan Holiday. Now, I personally haven't read the book uh, that has inspired a lot of people to think about Stoicism, especially in business. Uh, that's Ryan's book called The Obstacle is the Way. Uh, but I have come across Stoicism in my previous um, studies. Recently, I've subscribed to this app, a uh, mindfulness app called Calm, And there is a great story that's narrated by Ryan Holiday about the Stoics philosophy. And he talks about one of the last rulers of the Roman Empire called Marcus Aurelius. He's probably considered to be the father of the Stoicism. Um, He wrote uh, his memoir in Greek called Meditations uh, back in 180 BC, which was considered as one of the greatest works of philosophy. So I was inspired by Marcus as he talked about the regular need to journal your thoughts and the importance of having like a morning routine. Uh, And why is this important? When you think about it, Marcus was a leader of an empire. (laughs) You know, he, he, he wasn't just a small business owner. He was a leader of a massive empire uh, that has lasted so many um, so many years. People used to look up to him for guidance. He had to always be mentally ready to face the day. So he would often find solace in journaling. Um, he would often journal in the morning. He would often make very important decisions uh, while walking in nature. He believed that he had to be surrounded in nature. There is this positive uh, energy. 
And he would never make these difficult decisions while he's sitting down. And if he ever had a moment where he questioned himself, he would write this in his journal. Uh, The biggest question he had was, why should I wake up today? (laughs) And he would actually write the answer. It's because I have a job to do. Even Marcus wasn't inspired to wake up every day. He actually saw it as his duty to do so. So I highly recommend, uh, if you haven't got this app, uh, and I'm going to include this in the show notes, it's the Calm app, and this story you can find by Ryan Holiday, uh, which is about 30 minutes long, but they've actually split it up into five-minute uh, pieces. Um, it's a really inspiring story, and you will feel that you're not alone, you know? So even the greatest leaders uh, have questioned themselves in their daily life. Then... This kind of philosophy uh, idea led me to meeting, or maybe it's the universe, (laughs) that led me to meeting Pauline Nguyen, who is uh, known as the spiritual entrepreneur. She's a well-sought-after speaker around the world, and Pauline would hardly do any type of marketing, so you probably would not have heard her, you know, you would not have found her through social media or any type of paid advertising. She is... um, well known in the corporate world. Um, I was referred to Pauline by a client. Pauline wrote a book called The Way of the Spiritual Entrepreneur, uh, which talks about the seven secrets to becoming fearless, stress-free, and unshakable in business and in life. She's a multi-award winning author and a business person, successful business person herself. To me, I saw Pauline like the uh, Cobra Kai If you've watched The Karate Kid, you probably know what I'm talking about. She is like my sensei in business. She gives me the tools to arm myself whenever I feel stressed. And Pauline has some really cool, inspirational quotes. She doesn't hold back. She shares quite a lot. Um, Even though you can you can download the um, not download you can actually download the chapter I think from this book. But um, I would include the notes. You can check out her website and you can buy the book. And you will find some of the most inspiring uh, messages that she shares in there. But I've summarized the key ones that stood out for me personal, personally. So I've got about nine things that really stood out. So I'm going to just read them out. The first one she says is that your body is the instrument of consciousness. This resonated with me because our mind is usually very overreactive. You know, you could be thinking so many different things and how do you tame this beast, your mind? Um, And when we are living, as Pauline would say, when we live our life by default, we would wake up in the morning, we would do the first thing. What we do is we will look at our phone, we will uh, think about the yesterday's problems, we bring all this negative energy into our morning um, and that's how we start the day. So our, so her teaching is that instead of allowing the body to take the control, we need to give our mind the power. Um, we need to control the body using our mind. And so that's why she says, your body is the instrument of consciousness. The other thing I liked about her teaching is that she Uh, references a lot of the quantum physics. So there's a bit of science behind this spirituality. And she says the word spirituality, a lot of people would probably disregard that uh, if you're a logical person or scientific person. But what she says about spirituality is that it's simply physics that hasn't been explained. Because now we have this new, new discipline in physics called quantum physics. And a lot of the quantum physics is what they talk about is the energy. And there is a lot of energy in nature, a lot of vibrations and things we cannot see, the signs and messages, and they can be defined. They just haven't been discovered yet by the physicians or the <laughs> uh, physicists. <laughs> um, and the other thing she is very big on is that the feeling, uh, the feeling is usually the secret. If you're feeling like you know, not getting out of bed, then that's usually like a trigger. Your body is basically saying something's not right. So she's all about tuning into your feelings and how do you feel? How do you feel today? Um, And it's all about controlling those feelings. And when she says feeling, the feeling is the secret is if once we go back 
and reassess why we feel the way we feel, then we can move on and start feeling better. Now, the next one she's all about is live by, desi- live by design, not by default. This is very powerful because, yeah, as I said, most of us are going to live by default. We wake up, we look at, you know, we think about yesterday's problems. Um, and the law of universe in what Pauline says is that the law of intention, uh, that's the number one law of universe is to live, uh, is to um, have intention and set intentions every single day. Evolve, don't repeat. She says that our souls are meant to evolve. We are all meant to evolve. If we're not evolving, we're going to be repeating. Uh, And so we're not going to be growing. So our soul, our spiritual soul, we're all about growth. So we need to be evolving. Clear, she's also very funny and she swears a lot. So this is, this is what she says. Clear the old shit and make room for new. Everything starts with a decision. Follow your irritation. And she uses the acronym FYI. Follow your irritation. Uh, When you feel something negative or bad, it's usually a trigger that you need to change something. Something's there that's bothering you. So it's time to work on that. Number eight, the universe is responding to what you're broadcasting. And number nine, the universe will only hand to you which it thinks you can handle. Uh, so she's very, very big on uh, having this energy. You're surrounded by a lot of energy and you are supposed to practice joy, practice being, practice doing. We don't seem to practice joy every day. We're always in some kind of a negative state. And negative state is really low vibration or low energy And that means that we are going to be broadcasting some negative things and the universe is always going to respond to that. So in order to change that, we have to practice joy. We have to practice appreciation, compassion, care, all these high vibration activities. And based on her teachings, I've implemented some regular meditations into my daily life, uh, starting with a samurai breath technique that she has, which is uh, very, very cool. I do that in the morning. And I also do a five-mile run listening to her Calm Courage Meditation. I'll also include a link because that meditation is all about snatching your power back. (laughs) And it's a a very upbeat meditation, um, which I haven't come across. So I find that when I am actually doing something, that I find that this meditation is uh, quite energizing. I also incorporate some lunchtime walks in, in nature especially when I'm contemplating about my day. Every time there is a difficult decision to be made, I would uh, get up and go for a walk and me- or meditate. And according to Pauline, uh, rest is a weapon. So we have to rest. We need rest, she says. We need rest in order to create great shit. <laughs> and in order for business owners to feel inspired each day, Pauline says that we have to ask ourselves this one question. As soon as you ask yourself this question, you will start to set the intention for the day and you will start to feel inspired. And the question is, what do I need to do to feel the way I want to feel today? And then she says, then you Goya. What's Goya? Goya is an acronym for get off your ass and do it. (laughs) That's simple. You have to decide. So the question is, what do I need to do to feel the way I want to feel today? You make a decision what you need to do, and then you take action. You go, yeah. Well, that is it from me today. Hopefully some of this resonated with you as well. And uh, in the next episode, I will actually have my sister, my cold crazy twin sister, Milena. And some of you probably can't tell a difference uh, between our voices. I think we're very similar. Uh, So I will have Milena join me and we will talk about how you can drive success uh, by building a marketing growth systems in your business so that you can fall in love with your business again. And of course, that is the name of the podcast. (laughs) And I'm sure that you will find this very, very useful. Until next time, ciao for now.